but now we are facing off against Metal Sonic in Act 3. This entire section was remade in Sonic Generations. It was improved in Sonic Generations because you actually fought him and it wasn't a race. But just take him out. Just uh, go help Amy and um, just race our metal friend here. By the way, Eggman has an insta death laser. So, um, well, it's not insta death when he first does it, but when he does, he chases you behind, and if he hits you with it, it's insta death. So basically, the key to doing this is don't try and go too fast, because Metal Sonic has a boost. He has a shield, and um, yeah, you just basically need to try and platform as much as you can. Spin dash is probably something you want to avoid in this this stage. Just jump over the projectiles, jump over him whenever he um, does his boost, and uh, try and get to the end without dying. No, 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 no. But don't worry, this is the last stretch. If you can get in front of him by your, you, you win. No problem. Alright. So basically, use Amy, let her down, and you finish the stage. That's when she grabs hold of you. There you go. God. <laughs> Alright, Metallic Madness is on. Alright, despite all the negativeness I've given this game so far, this is the final zone of the game, and it's actually one of the best zones in the game. This is one of the ones I would consider competently designed. It's fun to play. Music is amazing as always, and it has a, an unbelievably awesome color scheme. I mean, look at that! It's blue, red, green. It's the most colorful. Colourful something base in history. It shouldn't even be colourful, it's a me base made of metal. You never see something with this colour scheme before. It's amazing. Ow. Be careful these crushers, they're insta kill. As you would expect, they crush you. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Whoa, good god! Whoa, good god again! Alright, there's one good thing about the speed shoes, they basically break physics. But this game is this this game, the stage is filled with horrible badniks, they will hurt you a lot. Horrible traps that will kill you, and um yeah. And it looks like I'm not getting the time stones now on this LP, folks, because it's not physically possible anymore, I don't think. Oh well, tough luck, I'm not going through it again. No. I mean, it's... I'll do the summary at the end. Because <laughs> I have a pretty love and hate relationship with this game. I, some sections I think are amazing, others I think are horrible. Like the past couple of zones. This is one of the zones I think are con extremely mi well made. And it offers a nice little gimmick in, later on in this portion of it, which you will see not long now. It won't be long. I hate those crushes. Make me paranoid as hell. Oh yeah, remember these guys from Sonic 1? They're bigger. <laughs> They're just as dangerous though. In Sonic 1 they were dangerous because they were in stupid locations. Now they're in stupid locations and they shoot things about triple the size. So, yeah, watch out for him. What the f- We? I don't understand how the physics work on that. That wasn't going nearly fast enough for me to shoot up high. Oh well. No worries. No worries indeed. Just keep going down. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm probably going to run into a bomb. No, I'm going the right way. Alright, basically, you see this? Jump on the leg in the back. Gringo, leave me alone, boy. I'll give you attention in a sec. 
dog. <laughs> and uh, yeah, keep jumping on this. You'll eventually get to the end. I'll give you attention in a sec. Alright, and this is the awesome gimmick. Chibi Sonic, look at him. <laughs> it's adorable, it's amazing. I demand the Sega bring him back. <laughs> but I digress. Oh god. Alright. Now you have to do some spring based platform. Basically, you have to work with physics to get past the section properly. So, as you can see, spring up there makes it so you don't go the right way. You need to basically sort of do what I just did, if you could tell. It's like, do a bit of momentum towards the wall where you're heading and you should be fine. Oh, God. Be careful, but you're very easy to get killed. Alright. Now, don't go this way, it loops back around. It's one of those instances where left to... You hold left to win it, not right. And, uh... Yeah, don't jump on that spike. <laughs> okay, here we go. Jump the switch, go in yeah. My dog won't leave me alone, hang on. Pringle, what are you doing? Come on. Up. Jump up. Come on. Alright, sit there then. Okay, let's, let's continue moving. Whoa, hello. Okay, be careful. Crush a ceiling here. <laughs> you almost got killed, that wouldn't have been fun. <sighs> oh, we're almost... Actually, we're, yeah, we're at the goal now. We're at the final boss, yes! Thank you. <laughs> oh. I'm not a fan of this game. Well, that's a lie. I like it, but I'll, like I said, I'll save that all that rubbish for the ending. What am I talking about? All right, boss fight, a go go. Gain to the boss can be. Um, well, did I just spawn? Gain to the boss can be quite tricky. Because it has a bottomless pit section right by here with these twirly platforms. You remember these from Scrap Brain Zone, right? Nobody liked them. Oh yeah, and it has Crusher Pits. There we go. Hey, I got past it! First go! Awesome! Alright, just wait for this to go past, then go through the wall. I didn't wait in time. <laughs> Alright, this room. You can only hit these things when they're attacking, so once the laser beam shoots out, hit them. Oh, wait. There we go. It's very tricky. It's extremely tricky, actually. Kind of makes me... At least... Okay, it's... I don't know, some... The invincibility frames on these things really confuse me. But I'm just gonna shut up now, because we're on the final boss. This is pathetically easy, and listen to the music. Just listen to this. It's unnecessarily epic. But, um, like I said, easy boss fight. Basically, you just dodge him, wait for him to leave an opening, and then hit him. Most people get hit to the first section. I usually get hit without meaning to, but, um, I'm just horrible. What can I say? He has a very basic attack pattern, so just follow what I'm doing, and, um, You'll probably get hit. <laughs> but that's how you meant to hit him, and that's what I did. I hit him. And he's gonna rinse and repeat his ta Well, his tactics change every hit, because as you can tell, he has to keep himself covered. But do not fret, because. Okay, now I'm gonna have to be careful. <laughs> I'm worrying myself, I'm getting hit too much. There we go. So now he's got one last hit left, and this is probably, if I remember correctly, the easiest one to dodge. Although that one can catch you a bit off guard. 
Firm Override's gonna start going pogo stick on you. And you have to time it right so you hit him without so yeah. Either who, that's the end of the game, folks. We have beat it. We have saved Amy. We have well let's pretend we saved Little Planet and uh, we've done everything. FMV sequence. Why don't they do anime cutscenes like this anymore in uh, the Sonic franchise? I love these little intros and endings. Oh well. Hey you! Get back here! Yeah, this rock will teach him a lesson. Wow! Schwink. Oh no! No way! I can't believe this! And that's it, folks. That is the end of Sonic the Hedgehog CD, Father Sega CD, Xbox 360, and... GameCube, PS2, all that, and I think those are the only consoles it's on. Now, this music is amazing, but uh, all I can really say is, um, thank you for watching. This game, I sections of it I think are amazing. Sections of it I think are the best designed parts of the game of any Sonic game ever. Then you have sections like Data Speedway and uh, Wacky Workbench, which are horrible. Like, they, no, but I don't understand why people love them. They're horrible levels. They should be killed. They should die in a fire. They're rubbish. But I digress. But I love the soundtrack. There isn't a single bad track in this game, I don't think, in my opinion. I love the intros and endings. It's saving content on the credits, thank you. And um all around it's um it's one of those games that get mixed opinions. Like some people consider this the greatest Sonic game ever made. I personally don't agree with that, but I can see where the love comes from. I mean And this game has done a few things right, because I did it did give you the sense of a really good sense of speed and exploration, like you were free to do practically anything you wanted. And I, I like that, I like that completely. So, see this hasn't been completely negative. It's probably my most negative Sonic LP yet, but uh, just wait until we get some of the later titles and... Oh, fun will be had when I start ranting at them, or complaining about them constantly, and nitpicking them to death. Because, hey, I'm a Sonic fan, that's what we do. We nitpick. Apart from Green Eyes, that's that's just stupid, come on now. Sonic 4's a fun game. Hasn't got the physics of 1, 2, and 3, but that's a fun game. Either who, either who. Anywho, I, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Rate, subscribe to all that usual nonsense. If you want to pick this game up, you can get it on the platforms I said before. And, uh... Yeah. Tell me you try again. Screw you, game. I'm not touching you again. But, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and, um, it's been an interesting adventure. The next game I'm probably gonna LP now is going to be Sonic Advent. Actually, I've already started recording it, so yeah, the next LP after this is Sonic Adventure 1 on the Dreamcast. And it's gonna be the Dreamcast version, not the. GameCube or Xbox version, because let's be honest, those versions are horrible. The Dreamcast version is the best. Anywho, I'm off. Thanks for watching. See us.